Hey everyone, DD's here and today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite Funko Pops that I display at Halloween. Some of them are on display all the time, but some of them I got to pull out and display during the month of October because Halloween is awesome. It's one of my favorite times of the year and I love each and every one of these Pops. Bear with me, there's probably close to 23, 24 Pops in this collection I'm going to show you guys. I have more that I put out, but these are some of my all-time faves and I'm going to get started right now with one of the best collections, the Haunted Mansion collection. And yes, one of my favorite all-time sets. And this is a must at Halloween. They're always on display because they're my favorite. But Hatbox Ghost, Phineas, we got Gus, and Ezra. I mean, how sweet is this collection? The Hitchhiking Ghosts are amazing, and this is a must-have for any collector. I got this, fortunately, when they were very, very cheap. Now, good luck finding it for a good price. The price on them has skyrocketed. All right, so that's the Haunted Mansion collection. Now let's get to a kind of whimsical collection, but still a classic, and that is the Charlie Brown. Halloween or Great Pumpkin Patch collection, which is also equally as sweet. And we got them all right here. I mean, how cool is this? I love Charlie Brown in this ghost outfit, as you can see, holding his rocks. I mean, amazing. And of course, you can't forget Snoopy also dressed up right there. Now, let's get to some essentials. These are the must-haves for Halloween as they're part of sort of a horror collection. Well, not really him. He's kind of a little, it's, he's a little graphic looking, but this is of course Edward Scissorhands and I just love Edward Scissorhands. One of my favorite pops. Look at all the scars all over his face. He's got his scissor hands. What an awesome pop. That is also a must. Of course we got Jason Voorhees. Amazing. I mean, look at the goalie mask. The machete with blood. You gotta put that out at Halloween. We also have Freddy Krueger, an all time classic for Halloween, a must have. Brand new to my collection this year is this version of Chucky. I mean, absolutely awesome. It's, he's cut in half, he's on his little wheelie box, he's got his stumpy hand. Just brilliant. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, and you gotta get this pop, and you gotta display it at Halloween. Very cool. Funko Pop, of course. Another amazing one that I have in collection, in my collection right here, is Captain Spaulding from the Rob Zombie House of a Thousand Corpses. An amazing looking Funko Pop. Check him out. There is no other pop that has, you know, this type of look. Absolutely brilliant. One of my favorite pops in my collection is Captain Spaulding. I keep him in a very safe place absolutely cool pop you cannot forget about the sanderson sisters <laughs> here they are right here i got two of them and here comes the third sarah don't worry sarah's in there too we got sarah of course we do this is such an awesome set from uh, i believe spirit halloween is the exclusive you can still find them here and there on ebay they're starting to creep up in price but that is an awesome set i have of course Pennywise from the most recent It movie with his balloon that was a Hot Topic exclusive and I have ah, the original It or Pennywise the Clown from the original movie and book. Absolutely awesome. Put him up there. Now, again, one of my favorite kind of horror films growing up, even though it's a little bit cheesy, but still the character itself is iconic, I think, and that is from Scream. How amazing is this Funko Pop? I love the bloody blade. Absolutely awesome. A must at Halloween. Set him down right there. Who can deny? Now, lastly, in my set right here that I have to display tons of, because I got tons of them, as you can see by the boxes in the back. I'm just going to show you just a couple of them. As you can see back there, I have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Don't forget, there's still, you know, Beetlejuice back there. And I have also the Gremlins. But, of course, a must for everyone to put out at Halloween is the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I have tons of them. This is a monster collection. We got Sally with her cat holding the nightshade. And this was Teddy who came in this uh, Comic-Con Comic exclusive set. 
it was Teddy and Jack in a set, which is very cool. So there they are. There is some of the pops. I'm going to do a, a part two. I don't know if I'm going to get to it before Halloween, but I will get a part two of some of my other favorite pops that I do put out at Halloween. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got this guy hiding here, Dr. Finkelstein. Amazing. And I have a beast of a pop that I always kind of put out because it does look kind of amazing and ominous, uh, ominous I should say. And that is the giant six inch, six inch Maleficent. I always put this on display too. Very Halloween themed with that purple and kind of, you know, lime green eyes. Absolutely amazing Funko Pop, but I put that up there too. Normally uh, she's displayed in the basement around our, our movie television, but she'll come upstairs during the Halloween time also. So there you have it guys. That is most of my favorite Halloween collection fun or Funko Pop collection that I put out every year for the month of October, just to display. Everyone always talks about them. It's a very cool set. Let me know in the comments below which ones you find are your favorite that you put out at Halloween. If you have other ones, I know I'm missing some essentials uh, like Leatherface and um, some, you know, there's gotta be a dozen that you guys would probably be putting out. But hey, leave a comment below of which ones that you put out also at Halloween and let me know which one of these out of that I've shown you is your fave also. All right, guys, leave a big thumbs up, hit that notification button down there, hit subscribe if you're new to our channel, and stay tuned for more great review videos from Dodd's Toy Collector. Bye for now.